All right, so I've been wanting to do this video for a little bit, been waiting for the right opportunity, and it's uh, and it's here. So this is my kit box or gear box, loadout box, whatever you want to call it. This is where I put my put my things. This is a Pelican 1620 of uh, the larger size Pelicans. This is, I think, their smallest. I don't know. It's kind of hard to keep track of their uh, their model numbers, I suppose. But uh, the wheel loadout boxes um, are great. Um, if you're watching this, you probably you probably know all about Pelican and why you would have one of these. You want to keep your things secure, whether it's a personal or professional. Um, Pelican is uh, is the way to go. Not sponsored by them, but I really do think Pelican of uh, of the hard cases that are out there. I think Pelican owns the market, and uh, I trust them. I have multiple Pelican cases. I put night vision and rifles. And really expensive things in uh, in Pelican cases, and I trust them a lot. So this is the 1620. I'm just going to go over what I store in this. So a lot of stuff in here. I'm just going to break it down the best I can, and uh, we'll go from there. So okay, this is uh, this is my belt. I did a video on it. I'm probably just going to do another video. Things change, um, but that's it. That's this is my belt. Came back from a training trip recently, and uh, everything was in here, so I figured I'd just do do the old video. Um, this is a Team One D. Um, name's probably Xfil LTP. So this is uh, their one of their. I think they have two bump helmets, and this is uh, this is one of them. Um, the the trip didn't call for ballistic protection, but um, having having one of these is a Pretty much just like a bike helmet at that point, and there's a place to have your comms. I was uh, I was GoProing the whole thing. I have a GoPro mount that uh, goes on the MVG shroud. People put MVGs on here. I don't know if I would trust it, but do what you want. This is the uh, Team Wendy helmet, the uh, old trusty Comtax. Um, an extra sling. So I didn't cover when I was a. Uh, introducing this but i don't when i when i use this professionally i don't use i don't put um rifles in here we have a different way of transporting them i should, I should say firearms so there's no firearms in here as you can see strictly just kit and uh and accessories i might need so this is an extra sling this is made by pharaoh concepts uh you probably probably all know about pharaoh um in my opinion once I find something I like, I have a hard time changing to something else. And in my opinion, Pharaoh was, uh, makes the best uh, adjustable sling. So these are the this is the first company I I got an, an adjustable sling with, and uh, I'm having a hard time changing back. I know there's a ton out there. I'm a big Spiritus Systems fan. I know they make one. Um, VTAC, I think the VTAC was the first, um, but anyway, I think Pharaoh makes the best. I have three, I had four at one point. Um, I like their slings. Extra shirt, um, I kept all my uniforms and stuff uh, in a bag. Um, I could have put them in here, but I, I didn't. I kept them all in, a, in my uh, backpack. Uh, an extra layer for uh, when it rained. I kept this in my uh, in the back panel of my of my uh, play carrier, but uh, it's just it's good to have extra stuff, especially something light like this that can just be uh, be put in the back panel, or you can wear it and it won't it won't uh, make you sweat to death. Face covering, uh, extra electronic ear pro. Um, if you if you go to military ranges or really any range and you don't have ear pro, it's gonna be a bad day. You don't want to use foamies or be the guy that has to ask for extra pro ear pro so have it i have if i'm not wearing the helmet i've or if i have the helmet on helmet with me i should say i have three um uh hearing protection solutions <laughs> uh, i was i lost for words right there so and if you if somebody needs it um you can just give it to them extra uh knee pads for my pants because these things like to fall out. Uh, gloves. There's a time and place for gloves. These are made by mechanics. Um, there's 
whole bunch of glove companies. I, I like mechanics. They fit my hands well. Um, they, you can use your phone with them uh, or use uh, any sort of tablet thing, whatever. So they don't keep your hands warm, but uh, I think they do a good job. I don't always wear gloves, but when I do, <laughs> they're mechanics. Uh, some magazines, a hat, uh, an extra holster. This is for a SIG. On, on my belt, I had one for a uh, uh, M9. Sure, com cable, a uh, toolkit because you never know when some stuff breaks. Um, and you might just need like a tiny screwdriver or an Allen key or fucking tape to fix it. So having that's nice. iPro. Um, these are some M frames with uh, different lenses. That was in frame. Um, I was we did stuff during the day, and uh, luckily I got to keep my sunglasses on, so I didn't really need these. But like I said, having extra pairs of iPro Ear Pro, always a good thing. And then of course, old PC, fully loaded out, minus comms and uh, and ammo. Put the plates are in here. Has a back panel. Fits in there, no problem at all. So that's that. Um, obviously, depending on where I'm going, things might change. Might add stuff, might subtract stuff. Um, I honestly really didn't need to bring my pistol belt, but I did. So, but anyway, it just plan on your uh, on your trip. Don't have your box like pre-staged. Just put in what you need. Take out what you don't. Simple. But a uh, funny story how I got into Pelican cases. When I was in the old the old fleet, I uh, had a uh, LBT loadout bag. It's a several hundred dollar loadout bag. Just like everything LBT makes, it's fantastic, but it's extremely expensive. Um, so I thought it was hot shit when I had that. Um, everyone else was using like sea bags and um, which is like a duffel bag. And I had this cool loadout bag. Well, when I got to a new unit, everyone had Pelican cases. And I was the, that was the FNG with this green loadout bag. <laughs> and I quickly realized that I need to change that. So I got online and bought a, a 1650, which is not this model. It's a bigger one. Quick, I realized it wasn't really, uh, it was too big. Um, I was putting stuff in there that I don't really need. And that's never really a good thing, so. Especially if you're taking these things to airports, uh, privately, or, uh, yeah, privately, um, shit weighs a ton, and you're gonna be paying for it. So, I, I like to keep it light as possible, and, uh, the 1620 is, uh, is the way to go, in my opinion. This thing's been all around the U.S., to a few countries, a bunch of flights, it's been lost once or twice, and, uh, it's always it's always been there for me, <laughs> but um, highly suggest Pelican if you can afford it. Like I said, I think before, they're really expensive. If you get them used, like this model, I looked it up before um, before making this video. I think like the minimum minimum I saw on eBay for used is like two thirty. So new, probably tapping like three fifty. So, but if you're an eBay warrior and know how to get stuff, you can probably get it for relatively cheap. So, can't recommend these enough. If you just want one, get one. If you are traveling with kit all the time, I highly suggest you get one too. But uh, that's it. If you have any questions, hit me up and I'll uh, talk to you guys later.